So typically in games, there's two types of players. There's people with slow sense who hit headshots and just kind of aim slow, but they're consistent. There's people who like prod who play on high sense, go for flicks and cool clips and whatnot. And normally it's one or the other, but what if you could do both? So that's where custom curve comes in. This is me playing the clip here. You can see how I'm aiming slow and then still able to 180 flick away from my flash. Like you can see the movement, slow, slow, smooth. And then while also still being able to hit shots like this and then flicking away that fast. Okay, so this is the software. Um, it's pretty simple. This slider here is your sensitivity and how fast you move your mouse is your DPM or dots per millisecond, right? So I sit here and move it slowly you'll see I'm still here at 0.6 on my sensitivity. And then if I flick, it's gonna ramp up to 1.0, right? So here you can actually have different axes curves. So the blue one here is my up and down. And because I aim slower up and down, I have this one just a little bit faster than my left and right, which is the pink. And if you get the pro version, you can actually just like scale it like this very simply. Instead of having to do all the math and shit like with rock cell, it's just right here in the GUI. You can even lock each axis and scale it independently off the axis. There's profiles, there's 10 presets you can choose from. You can change the colors of the entire software. Even like the individual axis, like I made this one blue and this one pink so I can tell the difference. Um, there's an entire web page about all of it. Like this is the version. These are what all the keybinds are. This stuff's worth going through, just clicking on everything, kind of seeing what's what. Like, you don't really need to do that. DPI scaling, this is cool. So if you go from like 800 DPI to 1600 DPI, your curve's gonna react differently because your mouse is faster. So you can actually scale it in the software instead of having to do the math. Um, history is really cool. So this is, uh, this is how you kind of find your curve originally. You would like, you'd start recording it and then you'd go into the game, like play a death match or something and you would just move your mouse and then you'd see like my average is like 15 or 13 and then my max is 55 that just means move my mouse right now but like my curve only starts at like 30 because I, I have a really smooth mouse pad so i have like a lot of room i can move before i need to flick and then i only ramp up until about like 50 and then 50 onwards it caps at 1.0 so that's the tail point here this is like where your cap's gonna be at Typically, you're going to want to be like from 0.5 to 1.0 or something that kind of makes sense. It, instead of being random numbers, like it doubles. So that way you still have a little bit of muscle memory and it makes sense. At least that's what I like, but you're going to have to play around with your curve. There's no best curve for everyone. You got to like find your sense yourself. Negative a cell. I don't use this. You can try it if you want. Like most of the stuff, it's just trial and error to see if you like it. Um, the advanced options are cool. You can change like how the math works, the modes, the bias mode stuff's cool. Your sensor rotation. So if you like hold your mouse at an angle, you can uh, adjust the rotation of the sensor. So you like if you were drawing a line and it was doing like this instead of straight, you could adjust your sensor rotation right here. And VSM is like your vertical sensitivity multiplier, I believe. And this is just, this will just make your up and down faster than your left and right instead of having to have two curves. But I like having two curves so I can like dial it in more. And um, then you can like, you can save each curve. Like I have a bunch in here and then you can like load them or whatever. Or you can also have your profiles and then keybind profiles. Like I have two profiles here. I have them on shift apostrophe or whatever. And I click that and it'll change to that curve. You can do that while playing. Um, another great thing about cups and curve over rock cell is you don't have to have this open for it to work. And you can also have it run on startup so it can just be turned on every time you launch your computer in the background. You don't have to fuck with it at all. And it's already working, which is amazing. So let's visualize this in a game real quick. I'm going to open aim labs and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so here we are in Aim Labs. Um, I was going to like grid chat or something, but the beautiful thing about Custom Curve is the ability to adapt, right? You can have like slow, methodical aim that's smooth and you can click heads and you're also still able to like 180 headshot somebody with a share up if you have to, right? Because normally I'd play on low sense, I'd play on like 0.25 with 800 DPI. And uh, I would find myself having to like pick up my mouse twice to do a full 360, right? Which is not good. You want it to be a little bit faster than that. 
Um, but here, I'm not even gonna try on the the game mode, but I'll show you. Like here, if you move your mouse slowly, you aim slow, right? And I'm doing like the whole mouse pad here. But if I if I go fast, like I can actually 180 flick, right? I don't think my aim lab sense is the same as Valorant, but um, like look at how slow and smooth I can aim here. And then if I need to, I can flick, right? And I'm this is the same distance. I'm moving the exact same distance on my mouse. So it's pretty much two different sensitivities at the same time. Like, it's honestly, it's really nice once you get used to it. Your first week doing it, you're probably going to be feeling, like, inconsistent. You're going to miss with your curve a lot. But I'd recommend just going to aim labs or the range or whatever, finding your curve, and then just playing deathmatch. And just going for, like, headshots, right? Just making sure your aim is where you want it to be instead of going for flashy flicks. Like, that stuff will come later. You just got to get consistent and then understand how the curve works and uh, just be comfortable, really. So now that we know how the software works, what it looks like, what it looks like in game, the reason behind it, um, this is the website by the way, mouseacceleration.com. I actually like the software so much that I contacted the developer to get it for $10 instead of $15, so 33% off. You can get the free version, it's called Lite, or you can get the pro version. It's normally $15, bucks, but if you use code SLOUCH, you'll get it for $10 instead of $15. This is $10 lifetime. And you can use it on five devices. So, I have the pro version, obviously. I think the pro version's worth the 10 bucks. 10 bucks isn't really that much. And it can literally help you get better at games, right? So these are the differences between the Lightning Pro. Obviously, I'm not going to go through all these. I'll link the website in the description with the code. Um, definitely check it out. It tells you everything. And then if you need help, you can either go to his Discord, the guy that made it. His name's Baloney. I'll link his Discord as well. Or I'll put my Discord in there. And, like, the help screen literally helps with everything. Most of this, like, frequently asked questions and stuff like that. There's guides. There's a lot. It's pretty simple. Like, the reason I like this more than Rock Cells is it is simple if you want it to be simple. And it can also be super in-depth if you want to, like, really get into it. You know what I mean? And no, it's not a cheat. You can't get banned. It's perfectly fine. There's no getting banned using Custom Curve. Um, <clears throat> so, let's actually load one of the presets. Let's do 1600 DPI. This is curve one, right? So at like 10 DPM, it starts to ramp up and then it ramps up from 0.34 all the way up to 1.0, right? So let's say you want to adjust this. You could either drag these or you can right click it and type in what you want it to be. So let's say the X is your left and right. Let's say I want it to be at 25 and I want it to ramp up to one and then I press apply. It's already changed. You can do this literally while you're playing. You can change your curve mid-game. Let's say you want another point, and then you drag this down. And then now you got this nice little, like, linear curve that goes up instead of so fast, right? Or you can add another point and do some, some weird stuff like this, you know what I mean? Like, you can have it... There's two types of curves. There's, like, the linear, where it kind of just slowly goes up, or where it's, like, a dead zone from from zero to 25 and then you have it ramp up which is what i like i like having my slow sense here and then if i need a flick i can right instead of having it curve the whole time it feels more consistent that way um there's a lot of presets in here though they're all pretty good just make sure you choose your right dpi so it feels better like see how this one just curves straight all the time so you're not you don't have a consistent sense it's always accelerating the reason this is better than like Windows mouse acceleration, typically people hear mouse acceleration, they think it's bad. Um, Windows, it just goes forever, right? It, it always has a curve going all the way up. Here, you can customize it and like fine tune it, right? And ca like cap it off. So people think mouse acceleration is bad for games because it's like an old take from like 2015. Like always turn off Windows mouse acceleration, which is right, but this is different. This is coded four games this is made specifically for games so that's it that's the entire video make sure to like subscribe comment if you have questions join the discord everything will be linked in the description and use code slouched use code slouch get on this shit see ya